Hi everyone. Uh, good afternoon. So happy to see all of you come over. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time uh, on a hot day to come in uh, and listen to AT&T leadership and technology talks. My name is Santosh Bijur. I head our uh, India development operation out here. Uh, we are based out of Hyderabad, uh, Bangalore and then Chennai. So I want to talk about two things. First, I want to talk about myself, who am I, and uh, also then tied to our company and what are we, uh, what are we doing here, uh, what are we looking forward to, right? So my journey starts out there. So I'm not going to give you a chronology, but uh, and it's going to be short. So my journey starts all the way back there. You see, there's a the little uh, personal computer. It used to be called. For people who are as old as me or older than me, you'll, you'll know that that is a ZX or ZX81. That was my first toy that I really loved. Okay. That's what a huge investment made by my parents. And uh, I was, I think, 12 years old at the time. So I started off learning basic on that. Um, I think I was in seventh, seventh grade at the time. And it created this love for coding for me. And after that, I just sort of, you know, got rid of all the, you know, the non-technical boring subjects uh, out of my uh, education. And I just focused on computer science and computer engineering the whole time. So I'm from Mumbai. I went to the University of Mumbai, got my computer engineering. And then I, I worked at Godrej for a bit. It was a fantastic opportunity at the time. I was uh, 21 years old and I was learning how to port Unix operating systems from the standard format to the machines that we were developing at Godrej. Well, Godrej doesn't do that anymore. But at the time for a 21 year old, it was a fantastic opportunity. I got a chance to see how good code is written. I fell in love with good, nice, clean code. And it became something that I took forward in my life too. So from there I went on to do a computer science master's degree in, in the University of Kansas. Um, after I got done, there were two companies which came to my campus. Okay. One was a company called Sprint. The other one I don't remember. And Sprint offered me a little bit more than the other company. Okay. So I took that one and in that I accidentally stumbled into telecom. Okay. Sprint is a, was a, a, a competitor of ours, now it's merged with another company. But it was a great opportunity for a youngster at the time to get into telecom. Okay. I didn't know, at the, like I said, it was a sheer accident by which I went into telecom. Now this story is 29 years old. Okay. It's not an accident why and how I have stayed in telecom all this, all this while. Like I said, you know, I loved coding and the best thing that I could do and the only thing I wanted to do at the time was just code. I used to love coding like when you are in the zone, you just don't feel like Anybody is required around you. You don't need to eat anything. You don't need to drink anything. You just go. So I had this real passion for coding. And I used to take it personally when people found bugs in my code. Anybody commented on something that I wrote that was not right. I used to take it very personally. Um, and uh, those, you know, it created interesting conversations. So that's how my journey went from Sprint to other companies along the way, all of telecom, right? So the beauty of telecom and technology, at the time when I joined it was telecom more, technology less, then it became telecom technology and now it is technology more implementing telecom. So it's been a full journey along the way for me. One of the interesting things that I see in the, the world of telecom is if you get bored, you just got to wait for a few and a revolution happens. 
right? You go from 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, and we were all excited about 4G just a few years ago. And now we are in 5G. Um, similarly, in broadband, we used to have megs. Now we have gigs. So things change very quickly, right? Telecom has, is one of the few industries I really feel strongly about this. It has the power to change the lives of people, it has the power to change trajectory of economies. If you imagine during the pandemic, if we did not have the, the strength of telecom connectivity, everybody sitting at home and conducting their life for two, more than two years, can you imagine how much more the devastation would have been if it was not for us? Interesting thing about our industry is people remember us only when things stop working, right? So that's the passion with which we work is to keep the connectivity, change the lives of people. So that's what has been the journey so far uh, for me. Um, we moved back to uh, Hyderabad about 10 years back, went to ISB, got myself a executive MBA. I realized somewhere along the way that I could code a lot myself but I could do bigger things if we got a lot more people involved and got bigger things to do, bigger problems to solve. So my journey was coding, 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 solving problems, solving bigger problems with people to where, I, where we are now at AT&T, which is to bring top-notch technology talent together to solve big problems for AT&T. So that takes me to who's AT&T? So we are a, as old as the telephone call, right? That's the legacy of, of AT&T. We've been around for almost 150 years. There's a lot of pride in the company about the legacy that we have being the first, uh, first with the phone call and then being at the forefront of technology through all of these decades to where we are today and even uh, continuing on forward. So we have this intense pride of being technologists and we are, as you can see here, we have uh, 100 plus million subscribers that we provide services to. Uh, what you don't see here is 25 million uh, plus customer homes that we provide fiber to. Um, and we have more than 102, uh, 122 billion dollars of revenue. So this is a massive company uh, based out of the, the US. Our India Technology Center is a more recent happening uh, I myself joined AT&T a year back to lead the center to create this powerhouse of technology here in India. It's been a great journey. Uh, we, had, we started with about 800 uh, team members. Today we are at 1800 and uh, we are going to go off and double the size over the next year and a half. So there is a huge mandate for us to bring the best and the brightest to AT&T. We have essentially four groups that we, that we work with. You'll hear from the chief data office, but in addition to that, we have the chief uh, consumer digital uh, office as well represented. We call it CTX, consumer technology experience. We have the business technology as well. We have the network technology, CIO teams as well. So we have essentially the whole ecosystem of a technology company where the systems and applications and technology is supported from uh, here in India. Um, so the reason for us to get everyone together, one of them James talked about was for us to share. The other one is to let everyone know what we are doing here and uh, you know, get your interest piqued about coming over to AT&T.